Hello, I hope you are doing great. Today we are going to talk a little bit about the Blazor Web Assembly size. Now, before we continue, please remember to visit fairplay2.pdicostarica.com, click the Buy Me a Coffee icon, and select a donation of your preference. This will help us keep the videos and products free for you. Okay, so let's continue. This is a published application created in Blazor Web Assembly. This is basically just the template from Visual Studio in .NET 6, and it has been published to Microsoft Azure. So one of the things that a lot of people have been saying that the reason to not use Blazor is that one they think it is slow and the other is that they say you have to download the runtime which they claim it to be up to megabytes in size which is actually not Microsoft team has actually created done a terrific job in making it really really low in size and Blazor is part of .NET 6 which uh, is part of .NET 6 and .NET since .NET 5 I believe has a lot of um, trimming functionality which allows you to create even the smaller applications by removing a lot of the types and classes that you are not using. And you can actually uh, enable trimming uh, to make it better. So you can actually make it probably make it smaller. Um, and one of the things that happens is that a lot of people that claim this to be really big are still thinking like on the first versions of Blazor and they have never tried again, right? And a lot of other people um, just repeat what other people say, right? Which is unfortunately um, a common pattern in humans and one of the reasons why stereotypes survive um, people usually repeat what others say it's just the way it usually is um, so it comes handy to test or to verify or show that um, Blazor WebAssembly is actually not that big so I'm going to reload this application and let's see what it downloads. This already has the cache disabled and I'm going to do a hard refresh, empty cache and hard refresh. So I click in here and you will see that it downloads a lot of stuff, right? So let's see what it actually downloads. So it downloaded the runtime, right? However, check the runtime. It's only 85.5 kilobytes. It's not megabytes, right? It download Bootstrap, which is not part of Blazor WebAssembly. It's just a library that you can add in your application to enhance the styles and add easier or more user-friendly controls. So you can just not have it. It downloaded this WebAssembly script, which it has a size of just 25.1 kilobytes. It downloaded the fab icon. It downloaded the open icon bootstrap, right? Which is part of bootstrap, so it's not Blazor. It downloaded the Blazor 
Output.json, which is only 3.1 kilobytes. It downloaded my app.css, which is a CSS linked to the uh, application, right? Which you can just not have. However, your application will look awful usually if you don't have a styles. It downloaded the Blazor or Wasm styles.css, which are also the set of styles, right? And those were just kilobytes, right? It downloaded the index page, which is 1.1 kilobytes, and it downloaded the fonts, right? So here, the bigger download is the one from the runtime, which is okay, but it's just an 85.5 kilobytes. And as you can see, the total downloads were like 180 kilobytes transfer and 500 and the resources are actually of 517 kilobytes. However, see that the downloads in here, this does not even reach a megabyte. Actually, it doesn't even reach 500 kilobytes. So it's not true that Blazor runtime is actually big. It is really, really small. So that claim of Blazor runtime being big is actually false at this point in time. Thank you very much. Hopefully this video has been useful and have a great day.